last night. A vision. I saw a world full of people. Everybody was dancing and screaming loud. They were just there to listen to the music. It was deep. It was underground. Let's turn the world into a dance floor. Are you guys ready for a state of drugs? Put your hands in the Your weekly update on the latest in trance and progressive. and progressive. Live from the studio in Amsterdam, this is A State of Trance with Armin van Buren. Hello and welcome, Ruben, are you ready? Yes. Special week, the release of the State of Trance year mix. Also lined up for you, my Rising Star remix of my new track with Susanna, the Colin remix of Hollow, and also David Forbes teamed up with Davey Asprey. And in hour number two, an absolute legend, British DJ and producer Fergie bringing a sweet guest mix. We'll we kick off with this groovy one by Corolla, Come With Me. Thank you. 
this week. This is the State of Trance, State of Trance, Progressive Pick.
This man cannot go wrong if you've been listening to my live sets recently. Yeah, you hear I'm playing a lot of his tracks. I had the uh, honor to have this exclusive for a while. It's out now officially on my label, A State of Trance. Rubik, Outbound, before that, Far Out and Leonard A. Ultraviolet on the label of Seven Lions, Ophelia. Welcome, welcome, dear friends. You're listening to episode 1046 of your weekly update on the latest in trance and progressive. My name is Armin Van Buren. That is Ruben Durand. And uh, in two weeks' time, I can't believe it, time flies so fast, we're going to have a very special episode here on A State of Trance, counting down the 50 most popular trance tracks of the year, and that's going to be a very special episode. And Ferry Corson will be my co-host, uh, so it's always our most debated, most loved and most hated episode of the year. <laughs> And it's still not too late to leave your votes. So uh, if you're having a little trouble deciding what are your favorite tracks, every week we help you with some of the suggestions of the five tracks that we think you can consider. Like this one, Andrea Rebecca, Tunica Est. Or this one by Factor B and Ariel Marin. And Orion Nielsen had a great year with this one, Volt. Or Giuseppe Ottaviani with Resonates. And last but not least, Christina Novelli and Richard Durand. The voting is open one more week, so if you haven't done already so, please do me a big, big favor. Head over to the special website, vote.astateoftrance.com and leave your top five of the year. Your votes will be counted and you can influence the standing of the top 50 favorite trance tracks of 2021. And in yearly tradition, one week later, I'll drop the State of Trance Year Mix 2021. Uh, I picked over 100 tracks uh, on the standing so far of the Tune of the Year uh, voting. Uh, that defined the year 2021 for myself and for you, the listeners of this radio show. Molded into a, a two-hour mega mix. It's a yearly tradition. It's always a lot of work. I already finished it. And uh, the good news is, it's out. It's out at this moment. You can uh, check it out on your favorite streaming portal already. And uh, traditionally, I would like to uh, play you the intro of the State of Trance year mix. Remember, the year mix will be broadcasted one week after the top 50. So uh, you don't have to miss a thing if you don't have uh, a uh, subscription to one of your favorite streaming portals. Or maybe you're waiting for the CD copy, I don't know. We're also going to broadcast it with a very special video mix that's going to be available on YouTube. So that's going to be the last episode of A State of Trance this year. So Ruben, shall I do it? Yeah, let, uh, let us hear it. So for the year mix, I always do a little skit or something funny, um, mm -hmm. you know, to sort of showcase the year. You know, I've done stuff like renewing my DJ license. Uh, they found the State of Trance tape in the garbage. Uh, and this year I thought, you know, uh, it's not really the time to do something funny because for a lot of people, it's been a strange year, struggling with the results of COVID. I know everybody's affected. We all know somebody who's had COVID and I hope you guys are safe. So I thought, um, why not do something different? So I wrote a text together with my good friend, Stevie Cripps, uh, to showcase my feelings of the year 2021. And here's the intro for the State of Trance Year Mix 2021. We used to dance together. The parties never ended. The lights flashed and we danced with not a care in the world. Then things changed. Normality disappeared. The dancing stopped. We went into shock and disbelief. But then the healing began and an awakening, a global meditation. We all struggle sometimes when we're afraid, lonely, or angry. But they are just thoughts, and these thoughts do not define you. Take them away, and all that remains is love. The need for connection with music as a guiding light. 
Let go of any anger. Let go of disbelief. Let go of pain. Let it all go. There is only now. There is only this. There is only us. So, as the lights turn back on, let us all learn to dance again. Embrace the beats and melodies. Be as one and totally present together. there you have it the mix is out now on your favorite streaming portal and of course on two cd for people that are still collecting cds for the 18th time the state of trance year mix will be broadcasted in full as always as a two-hour video mix and the last episode of 2021 and one of my personal favorite this year is the closing track of my forever album and i had to make an uplifting mix i tested this one in my mexico set that's also available on your streaming portal the tune of the week this week, of course, my new track with Susanna. Sort of a follow-up to Shivers and If You Should Go. This is Home With You, the Rising Star remix. Armin van Buren's favorite record of this week's show. This is, this is the tune of the week. Susanna and you're listening to my brand new track on State of Trends. So here we are, look how far we've come since that first day, standing in harmony, all unified, we're one.
There's music in my heart We're surrounded by the stars you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.
You can't go wrong when you put two of those big names together in the studio. I'm talking about David Forbes and Davey Asprey Lonak. I loved it so much. I picked it up for my label, Who's Afraid of 138? You're tuned into episode 1046 in just a little bit. My special guest, Fergie, will be here. He's uh, scored some mega hits on Beatboard with his uh, more Tektron-oriented tracks. I absolutely love that. And I have big news for our friends in the US of A. A few weeks ago, I announced that we will return to Los Angeles for a special State of Trance event. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be a big one. My biggest ever in North America. April 9th, 2022, the Bank of California Stadium. All tickets will go on sale next Monday, December 13th at insomniac.com slash ASOT. Insomniac.com slash ASOT. I cannot wait. Armin at thestateoftrons.com is your direct line into the studio for all your shouts, your messages and your requests. Let's have a quick look. Ruben. Yes, happy birthday to Corey Gasper from uh, Sudbury, Canada. Raymundo in Mexico City and Daniel Giant City from Toronto, Canada. And Nicolas Stein from Sound France wishes his daughter Louise a happy 15th birthday, wishing her a great party weekend with lots of State of Trance. And happy anniversary to Rushit Shah and his wife from India. They are celebrating with a little vacation in Kenya and listening to State of Trance, of course. And Martin Strobinders from Dublin, Ireland wishes his girlfriend Leia very best of luck with her medical exams this week. And Nadine Fisher in Berlin, Germany, shouts out a happy birthday to her husband Ben. Also, happy first anniversary to Donovan Bloomers and her boyfriend uh, Remy in Antwerp, Belgium. They tune in every week together. Hello, hello. And the last one, Vlad Indikov, shouts uh, out to his buddy Effort Wind in Sweden, congratulating him with a successful university graduation. Thank you for all your messages. We love reading them. Armin at the State of Trance. Also, if you have requests for my upcoming sets or anything you'd like to share with us, Armin at a State of Trance.com. This is last week's trending track, Robert Nixon's remix of Jess's cover of a Pink Floyd classic, Wish You Were Here. The trending track, last week's most discussed track on social media.
Classic team up, British Colony with German legend Paul van Dyke. You just heard their new track, Wishful Thinking, the Paul van Dyke club mix. Before that, an overwhelming winner of the future favorite poll, your favorite track of last week's episode as voted on the website, Suncatcher and Exolout. Ascent, the Maywave remix. You're listening to A State of Trance. We're ending our number one. Stay tuned for Fergie, but first. This music can take you to another world. We want to hear why a track means so much to you. Here is this week's this week's service for dreamers. Hey Armin, hey Ruben, I'm Dan from Australia. 
Could you please play Save You by Richard Durand and Christina Novelli? It's my partner's birthday and it's our special song together that we heard on your show. Loving what you're doing, guys. Lots of love. Cheers. Originally released back in 2019, what a track. Richard Durand and Christina Novelli save you, requested by Danilo La Pega from Australia for uh, Gabriela Miko. It actually reached the number two spot in the state of Tron's top 50 countdown. In two weeks' time, we'll have another one of those top 50 countdowns and make sure to leave your votes for that, vote.estateoftrons.com. If you have a track and you would like to request, like Danilo, just send us an, uh, a link to your video, please. Armin at thestateoftrons.com. We might see you here in the studio soon. Don't go anywhere in just a little bit. Fergie. Stay tuned for more A State of Trance. Welcome, Welcome back to the world of trance and progressive. Here's your host, your host Ruben Durant. Coming up, Dream, Haley Ann and John Askew. And in studio today, probably one of the most radio experienced artists we ever had in the studio here. Former BBC One resident, Fergie. 
Well, well, well. How Thanks you doing? for having me. How's it going? Good. Welcome. Thank you. What are you going to play for us today? Do you know what? Uh, obviously, I've uh, had the privilege of releasing some uh, bangers with you guys over the last uh, six months. So I've got some new stuff. Awesome. Hopefully, you might be interested. And it's not signed yet. Maybe you'll want it. Maybe you won't. I'm going to test it out. We'll find out. But first, Fergie, you told me you had a little story about the DJ that we're about to start the show with. Yes. And what a legend he is. I first met him probably about... 20 years ago, um, my mother actually had a DJ school uh-huh. called Key Mix yeah. in Ireland. And she kind of, you know, used it as a cross community uh, exercise, getting Catholics and Protestants together and whatnot. And um, one of the guys that really stood out from the pack was uh, Kieran McCauley. Yeah. And. Um, you know, one of the first days that he came to the, the DJ school, basically, you know, there were a lot of the young lads were asked what their what their DJ and dream experience would look like yeah. for them. And Kieran stood up in front of everybody and said that his dream would be to play at Creamfield. Uh-huh. Now, everybody else, you know, turned around and looked at him and kind of laughed under their breath as if to say, wise up, mate. Yeah. You know, you're from Northern Ireland. That's not going to happen. And um, obviously he went on, he achieved that, he's played there multiple times and um, I remember he, he, he showed my mother the flyer, you know, the first time he got on there mm-hmm. and he was, you know, Alice, thanks yeah. so much for, you know, giving me the, the inspiration he did back in the day and he always remembered and we keep in contact with him and I keep my eye on him and see what he's doing and it's amazing what he's going on to achieve, so yep. Much respect to him. He's an absolute legend. And here he is. Here McCauley and Clara Stack. All I want in a crack on a remix.
One of my absolute favorite records of 2021, without a doubt. You just heard Artie speak my mind on two rock recordings. Right after the man had skyrocketed into the trend scene last year, Eugenio Tokarev. I played your reflector on Monster Tunes recordings. And this is State of Trends episode 1046. I'm glad you joined us once again today. A big shout out to everyone viewing in the video chats. And it's an absolute honor and pleasure to welcome today's guest mixer on the decks. He has been DJing and making music for more than 20 years already and played at pretty much every club on the planet. But currently he lives in Las Vegas and he still holds the title, the record for the highest entry in DJ Mag ever. Did you know that? 2021 brought him a new chapter in his career with a string of smashing releases. Of course, on our minds. And today we have him in the studio to showcase some of his music. Give it up for Fergie! A state of trance.
you an exclusive guest mix on a state of trance.
I have to say this could be defined as the sound of 2021. A perfect blend of techno trends and anything to be honest. A little bit of nostalgia in there. Give it up for Fergie. Thank you so much for your guest mix, man. There was uh, some sweet ideas in there, <laughs> I think. You. What did you play for us? Thank you. Uh, the first one was a, uh, a version I've done um, of the classic Time to Burn. Yeah, by Storm. Yeah, 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 which is a legendary track. I mean, I've always wanted to do something with that. I remember playing the promo of that mm -hmm. uh, in Ibiza, uh, the God's Kitchen residency I had, probably 2000 and one yeah something like that. so it was always a big track for me so it was really amazing to get um to get in on the act and do something with it but um obviously the next track was level up mm -hmm. big big track for me personally Recently released on our minds yeah. yeah it's a big track for me you know and it's what i'm trying to do with the music that i'm doing at the minute is have such a nod to the past mm -hmm. it means so much to me you know um having a little kind of bit of that old school flavor and you're right what you're saying you know a techno trance like everything comes together yeah you know it's a really amazing time to be coming back into the scene because obviously i've not made any music for 10 years and mm -hmm. um so to really come back now where you don't really have to stick to a genre it's kind of open as long as the music's good quality music true yeah people are accepting of that you know gone are the days where you could only play trance, or you could only play hard house, or you could only play techno. You, you know, you could play anything, to be honest. Yeah. yeah, people want, you know, they're thirsty. They want to hear a, a variation of stuff. So it's an amazing time for me to come back. So loving it. Yeah, this year you brought us uh, tracks like Men from Edens, Alpha Centauri, and Level Up. What other surprises are there down the line for you in this year and also next year? You know what? Um, Besides the tunes that you just played yeah, for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I was speaking to you guys about putting out uh, quite a few more singles. So just being in the studio, mate, and, um, you know, taking the inspiration from back in the day and also the inspiration from the gigs that I'm doing. So, yeah, it's an amazing time, man. Amazing time. And it's great to be able to collaborate with you guys. So. And back in the days, you were more known, f of course, for your hard style stuff. Why did you pick this style to continue your career? Well, when I started, uh, I started DJing in 1992. <coughs> <laughs> 1992. So, you know, back then there wasn't even a style, you know, uh, there wasn't a style, you know, it was there was a lot of hardcore rave. I mean, mm -hmm. Carl Cox was one of my big heroes and Tony DeVee. So I naturally gravitated towards that hard house sound mm -hmm. of the 90s. You know, I was resident at Trade. Uh, nightclub in London so that that's where my sound was for quite a long time then when I joined BBC you know I was 21 yeah. so I've been DJing for 7 years by then so that's when I started moving into the more uh, techno side of things with my you know my own label Eccentric Music and um, my album Dynamite and Laser Beams and stuff that I put out so that's kind of the music that I'm making now is kind of half techno and half uh, hard house, yeah. if you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and it's it just feels right for me. And you know, over the last ten years, I said I haven't put any music out. And when we went into the the lockdowns and stuff like that, I was kind of, I kind of decided in my head that I was done with DJing. I mm -hmm. was finished. You know, I, I was really kind of burnt out. You know, I've been in Vegas for the last ten years doing two hundred shows a year there. So I was ready to hang the headphones up and um, <laughs> it sounded like uh, paradise to me to be honest and um, it wasn't until my wife said to me you know why don't you uh, take a step back in time and make some music that you really love and here we are you know and, and big shout out to James actually from Armada because he was the first guy that that hit me up and was like Ferg we would really love and this is before he had heard any music yeah yeah I hadn't made any music at this point and James was very like just go into the studio make something you know Armada we've got a huge uh, catalog we'd love to get you on board and he's been such a he's been really supportive and a real anchor in this whole thing so big shout out to James man a lot of the uh Backroom people don't really get a shout out as not uh, as much as they should. So. James is an James is an absolute legend, of course. I have some more questions for you, but I'll save those for the podcast. We'll be uploading that uh, that one later. But first, some new music. We go back to uh, a show favorite of the last few weeks: Richard Duran and Haley and "Give Your Heart a Home."
We had to play this one for you again. The old school sounds of the boss. John Askew, Escapism. Before that, a new release on Alan Watts' label High Volts recording. Steve DK and Marvelous. And thanks once again for Fergie for dropping by, for bringing us some techno to the show. Yes, Do yes. Do you have any uh, sweet shows coming up? Do you know what? Um, I just want to give a big shout out to John Askew there. And I was loving that track. I'm, I'm going to have to get him to send me a wee copy. <laughs> John, what's going on? You know, I first heard John's name nearly 20 years ago as well when I first started doing my Radio 1 show. And I was doing a Fergie's Future Heroes thing. Yeah. And John was the first name on the list, for sure. What's the first one? He was the first name on there. He was just he was just a bit different than everybody else. He always had a lot to say for himself as well. He still <laughs> has. He still has. So yeah, of course. Yeah, he's an absolute great guy. But do you know what? I kind of watch a lot of the, the younger guys that he works with. The and Seven Crew? Yeah, he's like a big father figure there, isn't he? Yes, yeah, yeah. He yeah. just puts his arm around them, so... Send me that record. I'll maybe get a Christmas card <laughs> I'll give it this to, year as well. I'll give it to you. Next week, we're back with another legend on the show. Thank you once again, Fergie. Thank the you. last regular episode of State of Trance in 2021 with none other than Sonder Van Dorn. See you then. Bye. Thanks for tuning in this week. This week. If you want to listen to this episode again, surf to arminradio.com and please leave your vote for your favorite track of the past two hours on stateoftrance.com.